next question is how high does it go? And again, if high means this way, it only depends on the y motion. And in this case, we want to find a position in the y, so we do need to use the formula y equals y naught plus v y naught t plus one half a t squared. And let's see, what are we going to do? We're going to use this equation to find a specific height at a specific time. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is the general equation of y as a function of time. Let's now say we're finding specifically y max, the maximum height it reaches. And let's start plugging in for y max. Well, y naught is 0, right? So the one initial condition is that it starts at the origin, 0 height. So we just leave that out. Uh, v y naught, so the initial velocity in the y, we would say, is um, v naught sine theta naught. Right? So that's just the component of the initial velocity there. And then t, well, we could actually go ahead and say that's actually t apex. Right? t apex, because we're finding a specific position for a specific time. So we have v naught sine theta naught t apex for that term. And then minus, because of A, the acceleration is minus G because it's falling, so minus one half G. And then again, we're looking for a specific height and a specific time. So we say T apex squared. So T apex squared. All right, now if we go plugging in our T apex, let's see, it was V naught sine theta naught over G. So this is equal to V naught sine theta naught times uh, the T apex was V naught, yeah, the, the velocity V naught sine theta naught over G minus one half G and then the whole thing squared, V naught squared sine squared theta naught over G squared all those terms squared. So you can see actually this makes a lot of stuff cancel. Both terms are v naught squared sine squared <coughs> uh, theta naught. See v naught squared sine squared theta naught. And this one is over g, and this one is over a half, one over two g. Right? That g cancels that g squared. So it's really, this one is a half of that one. So it really just ends up dividing by two. And what you find out with a little algebra is that y max is uh, v naught squared the initial speed squared, sine squared theta naught, the initial angle, over 2g. Okay. That is how high it goes based on just the absolute, just the initial conditions, v naught and theta naught. And you can see we now understand that and we derived it based on kinematics, but sometimes you gotta decide when are you gonna memorize equation and when are you gonna be able to rederive it. Well, we want you to always be able to rederive it, but sometimes there's a few equations that are worth memorizing. And the maximum height of a projectile, you could say, is one of those times. It's always v naught squared sine squared theta naught over 2g.